Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to another video. In this video, I just want to show you a few more hints and tips to do with VLC. Some interesting things that I found out lately that I didn't really know existed. So, first of all, let's just launch VLC. So as we can see, VLC is launched here. Let me just minimize this window so you can see it a bit better. Um, down the left hand side, we have a playlist. Um, if you don't see that playlist, go up to view and select playlist. You can either have the playlist docked within the VLC window, or if you uncheck check this button here, it will undock it. I like mine docked, so let's leave it like that. So apart from a couple of interesting things down here to do with connecting to, say, your local area uh, network, and in my case here, I've got a, a network assisted storage on my network, which I can happily access the media from, which is really good. And I can stream content. We can also scroll down a bit further and get to internet. And then underneath internet, we've got something called Icecast Radio Directory. And if you double click it, I don't know why I didn't spot this uh, all, all the other times that I've used VLC, but you get this huge, huge list of radio stations. And you can see how big it is when I completely scroll all the way through. And it's like, wow, how the hell do you find a radio station that you want to look at? There's too much to choose from. So you could click on the title at the top, which would put it in some sort of alphabetical order. So at least then you could start going down in alphabetical order to try and find the station that you fancy listening to. Or if you're lucky and it's already on there, you can go up to the top right here in the search bar. And that's, uh, for example, if I type radio, Radio 1, we can see we have Radio 1 here, Radio 1 Rock, Radio 104, all these different things. And if I double click, the station starts playing. And then I can just pause or stop it. Again, uh, living in Salisbury area, I like to listen to Wave. So let's type Wave in. And now we can see at the top there, we've got Wave 105, which is the right radio station. So that's one little nifty trick that you can sit there, put your radio station on, minimize the box and carry on listening to the radio whilst you work. The other thing, which is on a bit of a different note now, is um, being able to cut video. You can actually use VLC to chop up video. So there might be a part or a scene in a video that you just want to get. Um, and you can select that part of the video and export it out into its own little file. And I'll show you how, how to do this. If I just go to media, open file, and we'll go to my videos, into my video clips. Um, for example, let's do the fighter pilot mp4 one I'll just turn the mute, uh, turn the volume down a little bit so here we can see I've got a video clip and let's say for argument's sake there are so many seconds in that I want to record the uh, video from and then stop it so many seconds after so let's just pause it for a second and we'll use the slider and we'll go back uh, let's see I'd say from the point that we see this chap in the window here. So that's 11 seconds. Now, what I've noticed is that when you set this up to record, when you press the record button within VLC, it can take up to three seconds. I suppose it depends how quick your processor is or your graphics card. But on my particular PC, it does take up to three seconds in order for it to start to record the footage. So for example here I'm on 11 seconds so ideally I want to start recording at 8 seconds but how do we record there's no record button if we come up to tools oh sorry no I meant view we can see advanced controls if you put a tick in that box what you'll notice now is you've got a record button you've got a take a snapshot button You've got a, a continuous loop button, so you could play a video on a continuous loop. And you've got the ability to adjust frame by frame. So all we're interested in is the record button. So I'm going to take this video back to the beginning. 
and I'm going to press play and then when it gets to eight seconds I'm going to hit the record button and then when it gets to say I don't know 18 seconds I'm going to stop the record button so let's do that so let's press play there and the time's ticking up so I've got to get ready on the record button when it gets to eight seconds right there we go so I've pressed record and I'm going to wait until it gets to 18 seconds and I'm going to press the record button again to stop it there it is and I've pressed the record button to stop it again so I should have somewhere around I don't know seven seconds if my maths is right so let's open up our video folder and we can see we've got our small clip there so let's play that Yep, so just under eight seconds. Let's do that again. I'm not quite sure why it's decided it now wants to open up in its own separate window. Let's close everything and do that again. There you go. So that was the footage that I recorded and that's put it into a separate file uh, under videos by default. Anyway, another couple of tips there for you. I hope you found them interesting. Thanks for watching.